Hello everyone, welcome to the Carla Dawn Live Show. I'm Carla Gordy Bristol, and I'm here and happy to be announcing that a dear friend is on set today, Don B. Welch of Don B. Welch Productions. Hey Carla, hey, hey everybody. Don. <laughs> hey Don, I'm so glad you made time. I, oh. I think you have these schedules that is, you know, meeting here, rehearsal here, uh, you know, auditioning here, right? Yeah, I do, but you know what, these are fun, especially when it's, friends and family you're like mm -hmm. yo let's go do it let's have a good time have so we're time. here we're gonna have a good time no and when we are here at lavoie studios shoshana yes. has a fantastic yes. studio which if you watch the show with her mother sherry payne from the supremes we were here at the same studio yeah. and you saw that show i certainly did because I you were about to you were directing her play <laughs> right <laughs> yeah i was i was i actually watched it it was a pretty good yeah, to make sure too. we did right because yeah the play was i was like uh, uh, and then i had to see whether or not i'd be available <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just teasing. You know that. You know and the that. play was phenomenal. I must play say, play went absolutely that was wonderful, great. and we we're so glad we chose that theater at the yes. last. You know that because we were somewhere else prior, mm -hmm. and I had some problems, and I'm like, you know what? Let's just go bigger. You so, did. and the blessing that we that, that we did do that because of the more people, and it actually worked really well for that type of production. I see, and yeah. it makes a big difference. You know, you're a playwright um, and, and director. You've done so many things over the years. We're gonna touch on all of that, but you know about staging yeah. and, and so many aspects of it. It's, it's, it's just as important as the actual play and the actors because people come for an experience. Mm -hmm. Your audience comes come into theater for an experience. Right. And, and it's not, I mean, it's, it's wonderful if it's, hopefully it's a good production, good writing, good directing, good acting, but mm -hmm. everything, the lighting, you just want every, even if it's sparse, uh, 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 props or sparse uh, set. Mm -hmm. In that case, it had to be for what yes. we were dealing with. Oh, yeah. You still were able to get into the story and really get into the play. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm glad we. I'm glad I chose that theater. Yeah. How hard is it for you when you're doing a play? Because you do so many, and we're going to get into what they are. But to pick all the different people that make up that puzzle, because it's so key to, like you said, the final production. Well. I've been blessed to have some really good people that have come on board with Diamond Welch Productions uh, over the years and also not just the actors because a lot of times the actors are, are the ones who get really all the play and the attention mm -hmm. when it's the folks behind the scenes Absolutely. that really help you keep it together, your stage manager, your lighting and uh, sound tech uh, uh, person, your uh, stage hands, right. you know, all of those people really make the production really look and sound a certain way. Mm -hmm. So they're just as important. And I try to get people who are, who come on board and know what their their lane is. Because sometimes you'll get an actor <laughs> who'll say, I don't mind doing that, but it's like, but I'm trying to become an actor. Well, no, let's talk mm -hmm. about your acting. Right. You know, if you're going to do that, let's talk that and more than you learning how to do lights and sound for a couple of minutes. Mm -hmm. So I've been really blessed to have some of the same people mm -hmm. working with me behind the scenes. I see that. When I come to your place, I said, oh, no, the one here that, you yeah. know, that means, I said, you guys must be, you know, a great job. Yeah. You're doing a great job because he brought you back for yeah. another third. I'm, I'm not it. easy to work with or work yeah, for. Yeah, I have that on my notes to get into, <laughs> Oh, too. Lord. I've been hearing <laughs> a few things, you know. Because you're just this amazing person, great energy, Thank you know, you. just great smile, and then, you know, but when you crack that whip when yeah. you're working. That, well, you have to, <laughs> you know. Um, if you, you didn't, it wouldn't, it wouldn't come out the way you and want. And there's a way to do it still respectfully, and um, you don't have to call anybody out of their name, mm -hmm. although I probably have some actors <laughs> watching right now <laughs> saying, huh, <laughs> when did you not do that? But, but I mean, you yeah. know, there's certain things you don't right, do. Right, right, right. And there's certain words you don't have to, you know, you're not going to say. Yeah. And I've heard stories of directors and that's writers. There's some things that I would have never taken uh, from them. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't want anybody to look at me and say, you know, this is what he called me. Yeah. This is no. Because ultimately, you want them to come back and work Absolutely. with you. You don't Absolutely. want someone to leave. Right, and, right, know. right. And there is truly a production behind the production. Yes, it has is. Have done a show, like, you know, something like that? I, you know, actually, I was, uh, uh, actually, I was, um, approached by two networks to do a reality show which mm -hmm. I really didn't want to do because I know how they how they once you sign up for a reality show um, most of the time you're si you've signed your life and 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 the editing and they show what they want to show mm -hmm. um, we had gotten pretty close to the idea and it was something like that okay. behind the scenes production all the way up to the actual production mm -hmm. I thought it was a great idea yeah, they did fun. too but they kept wanting to uh, concentrate just on me. You're the one. I'm like, I mm -hmm. get it, mm -hmm. but it's really about the actors and what we're doing. And then I'm a loose cannon. 
So I'm thinking you guys would love that. Oh, they you, love it. That's that's what they were hoping I, so for. I don't have a filter most of the time, <laughs> and I'm you know, and so <laughs> I'll forget those cameras are on, and then right. they're like, "Oh, we're gonna do that." Yeah. So I, I yeah. and you got and I have friends who've done reality shows. You, mm -hmm. Now some of them are okay, mm -hmm. but you've got to be really careful because even though the money is fantastic, and and if you want that attention in terms mm -hmm. of uh, more notoriety, yes. But what are you signing up for? That's right. I shot what a TV you, pilot for a reality show, mm -hmm. and I, yes, I know exactly what you're talking about. And you have to really make a decision. Yes. You have to make that yeah. decision. But I think that what there is, and kudos to all of the behind-the-scenes production That's right. people that yeah. work on all the Don Welch productions, <laughs> because they are troopers for sure. Um, so let's take it back to Philly a little uh -huh. bit. You know, you're from Philadelphia, yeah, right? Yeah, from Philadelphia. That's yeah. right. Uh -huh. Raised, born and raised? Born and raised, okay. right? In, uh, born in South Philly, uh -huh. raised in West Philly. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And you were uh, singing initially, right? I was. You were a singer? I, I was. I actually um, uh, started out um, doing, well, I was really young, and I was doing nightclubs. And, 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 and because I was really, really popular in these nightclubs as uh -huh. a young singer, my parents would have to go because they served alcohol. Right, like a teenager, because I think you're 15. Yeah, years, yeah, yeah, but yeah, cause because before that I was doing the, the school stuff. Right. But my first um, performance, like in a club, uh -huh. I must have been 14, 15. Oh my goodness. And my mom and my, or my dad would have to go mm -hmm. because they were serving. I, I remember doing an yeah. Italian restaurant called um, Torello's where every Thursday I was there singing. And my mom would say, they're making all this money on you, and, and you're, you're not, all they're giving you is a sandwich and a Coca-Cola. Oh, wow. you know? And I said, but mom, one day they're going to pay. I know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And so um, I remember people throwing money at me. Mm -hmm. Like I was singing songs like Feelings and The Way We Were. Oh, my goodness. All these standards for yeah. and I, Very mature songs you were doing. And I, But I, even today, still, um, my first love is performing live. And I'll give you a little, uh, later on, I'll give you a oh, exclusive. Uh -oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Don't leave. Yeah, We're going to get an exclusive. But, um, yeah, music, singing. And then I went on to open for groups and, and different people. And there was that one time where if you were in Atlantic City or Philadelphia, New York, certain parts of Jersey, I was always performing in the club. Mm. And it got to the point that people started knowing my name, that I didn't even do the club thing anymore. They would rent small theaters, and I'd be in concert oh with a full goodness. band, backup singers, everything. Yeah. That's so awesome. I didn't realize that, yeah. but when I was reading through some of the yeah. information, I said, wait, Don was singing as a youth. I, I have to show you one day. I have yeah. a, Actually, I have a video that they're putting on DVD where the group DeBarge opens yes. for me. <gasps> oh, that's big. Is that crazy? That is big. Oh is my that and, so, and, and, I, and at the time, he's passed on. He was in Switch. Mm -hmm. Bobby? He Tommy? actually joined the DeBarge group for a while. Well, Bobby and Tommy were in Switch. Right, but Bobby, then, uh -huh. the one that passed yeah. away, yeah. was with James and the other brothers, and they I have them, they own Oh my goodness, singing. and they were singing uh, the song. Opening uh, for you. Yeah, but I don't, it was so <laughs> weird. People were like, wait, wait, Don, when? So I found the tape recently, and I gave oh, it to a friend it. of mine and oh. said, look, you gotta put this on DVD. Got to. So yeah. Uh, oh, that'll oh. go, that'll be viral. That'll be fun to see. Yeah. How so, nice, how nice. Well, you have some good chops then, obviously. Oh, right? I can sing. You can, uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. <Well, laughs> I love Get it. ready. I love it, I'm yeah. ready. So, yeah, Does mom know this? I know you're dear friends with my uh, mom, Iris Gordy, you I, know? I don't, I don't know, she, but I know oh. Frida, and she, Frida actually, and I, I, actually, I, re, I, re, I recorded a, um, a CD which was not, I still have the masters actually on Will Smith's uh, that's a jazz label mm -hmm. and I don't do jazz it was R&B and Pop Mama Rua for Battle Deer and so mm -hmm. I still had those songs and we did it maybe uh, I went to Vegas and did the whole CD maybe seven years ago I still have all the songs and whenever I play for people they're like that's, that's you? not you <laughs> oh my god sing right now and they're like that <laughs> right. is it that's, we have to hear it come out we yeah to, yeah it's true because some people you just can't imagine what's going to come out right you, you right. can't look at someone and right. determine what their voice right. is going to sound I, like I, I'm wow, open, I'm I love open, it. I'm open for Gladys Knight, the OJs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. And that sounds like it's still a passion. You love singing. It is still my first love. Yeah. I, what happened, started getting into theater and writing and directing, it started taking a back seat. And before I know it, there would be like five years ago. I haven't done a concert in years. When I mm -hmm. first moved to L.A., 
I would still fly back on the East Coast and do performances okay. and come back here. Oh, wow. And so, Kept it going. yeah. Why don't you do a performance before a play, you know, and have a pre-play, you know? I have three a, songs. I'm, I'm, I'm going, listen, <laughs> I have an exclusive later. Okay. I'm going to tell you. Yeah. Okay, let yeah. me, let's be patient. I'm going to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you uh, talked about Philly and growing up, and I heard you mention Will. So he was a friend of yours, correct? Well, th his family and my family uh, lived maybe like across from each other. Like mm -hmm. if you were in the back of my home, okay. we saw a side of like where his dad's place was. And more so, he was more with my brother than myself. Um, but the whole family, the Smith family has always been uh, very supportive of me. Mm -hmm. And what I'm doing, and what I, and especially Will, and that we lost his dad, who was a dear friend of mine, mm -hmm. uh, a year and a half ago, mm -hmm. and um, he was a he was my champion, and because of that, uh, Will came on board back in 1993, mm -hmm. 25 years ago, mm -hmm. and then like Will was one of those persons who said, "Listen, I know what you're doing here in Philly, but whenever you." Uh, want to do some stuff in LA and you want to do film and television yeah. um, just move out and, and so I did I got and you you know it's he, one of those things I got you and he did around. and he See, too many people say it they they get successful and they don't reach I back. think I was out here two days and I figured oh. why haven't I heard from him <laughs> so I called him I'm like dude I'm here I'm He's in like, LA I said, so he said Don it's just two days I'm like oh okay he said everything's gonna be fine <laughs> he opened up a lot of doors yeah. for me in the beginning and because of that, it put me on the path. Mm. Uh, you know, I was always my own man and my own person doing the things I was doing. But he just said to me, listen, you have a lot of talent. You just need a little muscle behind that. That's right. And he just came on board and, man, became, almost, became like a lifeline, mm. actually. Yeah, and coming to L.A., you really need that, especially back then. And being <sighs> black, coming in town, you want to get into the industry, you need a little, you need right. a connection. Right, And people need a little help. And he's, you know, I tell people all the time, I'm not the only person that he has ever helped. Mm -hmm. I'm one of, let's just say, sometimes people have gotten lazy about it and felt like, oh, I don't have to do too much, it's, well, yeah. no, he. He's a man of his word. And not only is he a man of his word, he expects you to do what you said you were going to do. Got it. I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, I don't have to do anything this month. <laughs> no, what are you doing? I'm, I'm writing. I'm do Let's mm -hmm. see what you got. Let's do. Mm -hmm. Hey, you want to put that on? What are you going to Yeah, don't say you want something. Have someone no. help and then you, don't, you just sit on and, it. Yeah. And, and so now, years later, I've, I've been able to maintain and, and do my own thing. But definitely having support like that. For many like years that. you've been doing yeah, that. Oh many years. Yes, Don, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. And I still look great. <laughs> and you do look great. Yeah, yeah. How do you do it? We're going to get into the I, moisture cream later. I just later, wake so. up. <laughs> <laughs> you woke up like this. I just wake up. People, every God time, willing, we're waking up every, every day. Every time I go I'm somewhere and someone's husband say, oh, you smell great. I said, I wake up like that. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> well, can we, I guess you can't share that secret other than you wake up. We don't I know wake how up to like make that, that happen. No. Plenty of water, but I wake up. You know what also? All kidding aside, it's how you also live your life. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, the good genes are uh, whatever with your family. I was thinking about your beautiful mom. You thank you, you know, so much. Um, but it's also how you live your life. What you not only put it in your stomach to eat, which sometimes I show out, but what you put in your spirit. Yes. Your in the energy, your head, right. your life. Yeah. It, it that's the first thing people see when they see you. That's right. Is your face. That's right. So you want to be able to, even when you're having not a great day, you don't just want to look like there's a scowl on your face every time somebody sees you. True. So you try to move through life, and, 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 and I'm so blessed to, to, to wake up. I think people take it for granted, some people. Yeah. You I, know, I give thanks. You know. I was at an event the other night, and there was a young lady sitting next to me, and she was talking to someone else, and she said, you know, um, she said, when you wake up in the morning, it's a blessing to be alive. You should thank God for the breath of life and then just breathe deeply. Mm, and I thought, I like and I turned, I said, excuse me, <laughs> you're not talking to me, but I, I said, I love that. Yeah. I said, just wake up, thank, give, yeah, give, breathe. give God the, ble the, 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 the um, blessings of breath of life. Thanks for breath. And just breathe deeply. Yeah, breathe deeply. Because so many people have not. Yeah. And focus on that as you take that breath. That's just right. Take it. 
and realize what's yeah. happening yeah. to your body and what that means. Yeah. I like yeah. that. That's a good one. So breathe deeply. That's it. Breathe deeply, everybody. You yeah. feeling it? Are you feeling it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what kind of kid were you? Were you mischievous? Were you fun? Were you trying to perform all the time? And always Other trying to perform. Singing, just around. Oh, you, kids around. Listen, always performing. I remember... It got to the point where when we would have company of my grandmother would say sing or dance, and I'd go on the steps of the the, the um, steps leading to the second floor in the house, and I would sing and perform. And um, I often tell often tell people that I grew up on Motown and the sound of Philly, mm. and so I had all I was I had all those records and all those albums, and loved all of those artists. Mm. You know, just being a part of that, but singing and dancing, I was always talkative in school. School. Oh, okay. To the point that <laughs> when I would get my report card and bring it home, my mother wouldn't look at the grades first. She would flip it over and see what the comments <laughs> were. And if it said, "Don Donald is a great student, but, but he's talking too much in class," she said, "Upstairs," and that was oh. a beating. Oh yes. So she, she was, was like, trying to curb that and get she, you. To, mm. And so I used to talk so much, <laughs> and just about you know. That she took, took me to the, the doctor, and she said, "It's nothing wrong <laughs> with him. It's nothing wrong with him." She tried to get you treated. She's for like, it. "I don't understand why he's talking so much in class, <laughs> and he's and, and, and he's." But I was always writing yeah. and singing mm -hmm. and talking and thought I could dance. Right. I, I'll tell people this. I won't tell them where to find it, but on YouTube, right. there's an old video of a disco performer who had a hit record and I was at the filming because a girlfriend of mine was the backup singer to this artist and I'm dancing all over and you're like what in oh, the world wow. I'll show you but y'all y'all ain't gonna -uh. so you're actually in the background but you look like you should but they keep right the camera on me first of all because well, you had probably I was all this showing out, and I knew where the camera was too <laughs> You know, and I was like half this size, and I was like jumping. <laughs> and I looked back, and I had all this hair. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> that's funny. You got a lot of uh, behind, some things in the history books to check out. Well, I'm actually writing my my memoirs now. It'll be out next oh, year. Fantastic. It's called um, All Things in Time, and because um, uh, for years I was signed with Random House Publishers in New York, mm -hmm. and with my novels and. I spoke to my editor recently, and I said, you know, um, it's time. There's so many things that I want to say. When I started, and I, and I said to her, the most difficult part is writing about the passing of my mom, so I need to do that now so right. I can get that out of the way. It's been, what, a couple of years? No, a this year. year. This Not year, even a year yet. Little, oh, wow. So and again, my condolences. I sent it you. on Facebook. Yes, you did. Thank you. Um, but there, when I started thinking about my life, there's so many experiences and so many things that, that and people that I'm like, yo. Mm -hmm. But I live my life with all things in time. Yeah. Whatever that is. Right. You know, um, you just have to be prepared. So. You're ready. I, yeah, I am. I don't know if everybody's ready to read it. I think so. From especially after what we're hearing now, we're yeah, ready. I think it's going to be. And I don't know if really everybody's going to be 100 percent happy because well, it's my truth it's and yours. my story. That's right. And um, I'm not going to be unkind. I just know my editor said, uh, "We just have to make sure that the legal team is um, going to be on board." I'm like, "Okay, but it's but I'm not yeah, telling not the story. Right I'm not." It's not. A, it's really about me it's about you, and my life. Yeah. And I don't. It's not. But when I think back on the experiences, you know, there were people in this industry, both in Philadelphia and Los Angeles, who were not that kind. Mm -hmm. And that's okay. That they didn't. Let, they didn't. But it's uh, to the, the to the um, the degree they went to try to make it not happen for me. Right. Yeah. And you're wondering why. Yeah, I know, yeah. I cannot be that much of a threat to you that you want to see me fail. Who wants to see someone fail? I, I don't think anybody. I got should. stories. So you're going to. You have to read my bit. book with other mitts. That's well, how hot it's going to be. <laughs> well, you are known, if anybody that follows you on Facebook, to be vocal 
about your opinions and your thoughts. Never anybody's <laughs> name, though. And you share. Emotions come yeah. out. Yes. And, and yes. all. What makes you so comfortable with that? Just um, kind of what you A lot saying? of times when I talk on social media, well, first of all, I have a lot of wonderful supporters and, and people who um, follow Don B. Welch. And that's a great thing. But I remember Will told me a long time ago, he was like, he told me years, he said, you know, you don't have, you have to still be careful because you're still a, a, a public figure and you have to be careful of what you're saying and doing. I'm going to still be me, right. but um, there's certain things I stay away from okay. purposely. But, but I also kind of realized two things. One, a lot of times I'm talking to myself also. You're venting. But right. I'm also giving my own, I'm giving myself right. um, advice and, uh, yeah. and information. Yeah. And I can't tell you of the people who have inboxed me and just said, Mr. Welch or Don, thank you. What you said the other day mm -hmm. resonated with me right. in my life. And so you're like, okay. Mm -hmm. Then it's okay. okay. Yeah. And it's Help okay. People. And a lot of times when you... Um, purge or when you you're <laughs> that's what I did when you're able to you, you, yes. you vent yeah oh. you're able to and it's not to hurt anyone because mm -hmm. there's things I see in the media or and I want to just jump right and say or even somebody will write something on Facebook all right I'm gonna say I won't say any names but this is what I, I never understood mm -hmm. people who will go to social media and exploit family members mm and show you maybe their death or the, the hospitalization. Right. And I'm thinking, right. who does that? Yeah, yeah. There's, there's a line that there's she's drawn. No one ever knew what my mom passed from or how ill she got mm -hmm. because yeah. that wasn't the... Uh, listen, they don't need those details. No! Yeah. Why am I going to put my mom up there in the hospital with tubes and things all up? Well, f thank God she didn't have that. Mm -hmm. But why would I do yeah. that? And that was one of the reasons why I said no to the reality show at that time, that network, because I knew mm -hmm. that it would be like, oh, let's get that moment. Oh, yeah. Let's fly to Philly and get that moment well, when he's yeah. there yeah. by the mama's bed. That's not yeah. happening. Yeah. The things my that was very generally aren't shown, that is what. My, mother was, my mother was a very private mm -hmm. person, mm -hmm. and I respected that. And you wanted to continue. Absolutely. To yeah, I get it. Absolutely. And some people have, yeah, no I just don't. I don't no I, limit. They don't, that's it. They have no limit. No limit to what they're putting on social media. But well, do you think that is because they're trying to get the attention? Um, or just because they they honestly just don't see anything wrong? Attention, sometimes sympathy, mm. and sometimes they just don't think there's anything they just wrong. Don't get it, yeah. Yeah. I just I right. couldn't do it. Yeah, I, I, I understand totally. I, I couldn't do it. Well, I have fun watching your post. So you, you do hit some points. I'm like, Don, <laughs> just let it go. We just put it out there, okay? But it's always some, some positive things. I hope so. A lot so. of motivational. Yeah, I hope so. A lot of motivation. Because I try to live like that. Yeah. And sometimes important. when you're going through things in your own personal life, you don't even feel like that. Mm -hmm. But then you remember how, how blessed you are. And I tell folks, when I talk about my mom... Sometimes I, I get emotional and tear up, but I say, but don't, don't get that, don't misunderstand what that's about. Right. It's really about uh, gratefulness mm -hmm. and grace, God's grace, that I was able to have this woman that's right. in my life in the, in the way she was and what she meant. So mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's yes. happiness in the sadness. Yeah, and yeah. It's a, it's a blend of the two. It's a blend of the two, two. Yeah. yeah. Because but yeah. without being sad, that means you did not receive all the wonderful yeah, things. Yeah, and you still have those so, days, you know? Oh, yeah. You know, that's my uh, dad, so I get it. Yes. And yours is very fresh. So, yeah, and yeah. I and not only, and that's why, and I, you know, I never, there's no limit on grief or grieving. Mm -hmm. You have to be in your own space with that. Yes. Um, and there should be no judgment no on ju the person either. I, some days I wake up and I'm fine. And then some days I'm like, gosh, I can't call mom. Yeah, and then it kind of floods, yeah. Yeah. But then I rethink about two of the things that she said to me um, the week that she passed. Uh, and she said it often, but mm -hmm. she said, um, I couldn't have asked for a better son. And That's she does, my brother and I, mm -hmm. 
unconditionally. And then the second thing she said to me was, uh, the Lord is so good to you because you're so good to your mother. That's so true. So when you can take those uh, things. And go back to that. And yeah. Yeah. That'll yeah. pull you out anything. Yeah. It's positive energy. Yeah. yeah. And you're going to continue to make her proud. Now yeah. this. Yeah. You know, when you hit those moments, you go, what would she be telling you right now? She get up and she go. She say <laughs> some stuff. <laughs> She so you pull out of it real quick. You're like, what am I doing? So that'll be the motivation to keep it going. So that's great. So you're still in touch with Will, but he had, does he um, support any of the plays you've done? Have you co collaborated? He's, not only that, he, um, I, uh, let me think. What he did was, a, he came to see like four or five of my productions. Mm -hmm. And one in particular, he, he came to see and he said, um, Don, this is, what he, this is great. Like, um, what do you want to do with this? And I said, well, I'd like it to be a film, yeah. a feature film. i like for it to tour. And then I said, um, he said, well, what do you need from me? And I said, your name. Mm -hmm. And he got quiet. He was on the phone. And he had just come to see the play a couple of days before that. And I'm thinking he's, <laughs> and he said very quietly, okay. And I said, okay. And he said, yeah, let me let me um, get it all straightened out. To make a long story short, I go more to it in the book, but my my play went out and it said, Don B. Welch Productions in association with Will Smith Presents. Nice. And wow. um, I don't think a lot, there were some people probably close into the whole situation, organization, maybe company, that was wondering why he was doing that. Mm -hmm. Why he's doing something? Um, because they try to steer everything. Or, or there. thinking this is a small theater. You wouldn't. You're not. Right. You know, this is a small play. And mm -hmm. well, he he actually ended up uh, co-producing um, the one show for several months. Nice. And then when we went out on tour, we were able to use his name. And uh, in addition to that, the support. You know, what do you need? Let's do it. That's and wonderful. and never, ever talked about it. Mm -hmm. Never just did it. Nice. I, if I didn't talk about it, nobody would ever know. What's the name of it? That what particular the name play? Of that one? The Bachelorette Party. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 But that was just one that went out, with, that toured and had his name on it. Mm -hmm. and, but there was many more that he was behind the scenes. And just didn't get talked about it. And he, he just did it. He just was there. That's and I'll nice. go into, you know, and he's not a boastful person mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. But clearly, having someone believe in your talent yes. enough to lend their money right. and their support. Yeah. Well, not even lend because I didn't get nothing back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you know what I mean. But if he, yeah, if he yeah, didn't believe in and like the no. project, definitely. No, and nobody it, would and, want and, to be a And part. what the film rights to the movie. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm getting a check for that, and I'm yeah, signing right. contracts. And I'm thinking, well, mm -hmm. but always, but the support until you're able to stand on your own. That's it. And th that was a blessing. I didn't know really anybody in California when I moved out. I know maybe a couple people that, mm. that moved here, but just thrown out here, oh, like, yeah. what do I do? But I knew I had the talent, and I knew I wasn't going to be able to see him every day. He's just, mm -hmm. He has his life. You had to go do your And he, had, he, he has a life. He had kids. So... I don't. I don't even see him that much now. Mm -hmm. It's you because you have to get out there and form your own. I mean, that even now he doesn't come to the plays. I haven't seen him in a play in several years. Mm -hmm. I don't even because either, whenever I'm doing something, he he's in another country he's performing. Busy working. Yeah. I don't worry about that because I know that he is there. Mm -hmm. Right. You know. Well, they're real friends. People have yeah. real friends that they know they can always count yes. on if they need yes. it, and that they're also there for. Yes. And I'm sure you jump into anything he would uh, want you to support. Absolutely, so, absolutely. And that's, that's true friendship. And yeah, that's absolutely. Good. I mean, it's the whole entire that's family. That's the Philly way, I guess. That's, that's it, the Philly it, it, way. It is, it is. <laughs> I do that. You know, um, and it's about giving, you know, passing it on. I remember one time I said to him, um, I called, I said, you know, and this is maybe like seven, eight years ago, I said, two th I said, how do you deal with people who... Um, you're always wanting something from you. Mm -hmm. That's number one. And then number two, how do you deal with like rumors or things that are not true? And, yeah. and he said, well, number one, you're a giver like I am, Don. He said, so you're going to always 
so help somebody. Just don't give away your rent. And I knew what that meant. Right. And then secondly, he said, you know, um, a car runs on gasoline. Um, would you put syrup in that or whatever? Or uh, I'm like, no. He says, well, why would you put that negative stuff into you that you know people may be saying, right. well, that's not true. And I thought, how simple is that? I know. That does make it very simple. How simple is that? So, it's you know, brush it off and you have going. to. Yeah. Because when you select this life, style mm -hmm. of entertainment as you know mm -hmm. being in a family mm -hmm. the things that you've done and the, you've read you've <laughs> seen about your family you books everything oh, yeah. and you're thinking to yourself well that's not true <laughs> why are they saying that how can they get printed mm -hmm. and then you have to realize that it has nothing to do really with you mm -hmm. and your family right. it's somebody else's grief or story or attention seekers whatever. or whatever they may it is through. all you of that and you, leave it with them you have nothing to do with that right and even if it and you and, and no matter what you would do to try to correct it there's going to be some people that will still say well i still believe whatever mm -hmm. yeah and you just move on you move on you, you move, move on. on yeah so how do when you do your plays ultimately would you like to see them go to um feature film production? Well, I've had, well, I've, I have four projects like that, but only mm -hmm. two have actually gone to film. Um, we're working on some things like right now. I, I sold my first project to tele, to a network a year or so ago, and that aired on Easter. TV One? Yes. Is that, okay. Yes. And that was with Loretta Devine yeah. and uh, Christian Keys, and Ernest Thomas. the name Tommy. of that? Well, the name of it was The Soul Cafe. <laughs> the play, The Soul Cafe. They changed the name. Some, you, you win some, you lose some. Mm -hmm. That was a battle I lost. But I, I was able to win a few more battles of it. They called it the Lost Souls Cafe. I don't even know why. <laughs> what, well, I was going to read a curse. I can't but, be, this is, <laughs> we're on social media. You can say whatever you want. shit, nothing about the <laughs> damn Lost Soul. Wasn't a lost soul in that play. But, in that film, but it not, aired on, on TV One. And, and, you, you and know, we, like, we, we, the, the numbers were great. Yes. So, Congratulations thank you. again, because Soul, I love Soul Cafe. Thank that you. was a fantastic play. Thank and you, thank then you. we were thinking this should be a film. I mean, it's one of those things you see and you and already can see it on the big yeah, and I and I still want to do more with uh, that type of story. A lot of my stage plays, people come and see and say, "That's a movie. Mm -hmm. That's a film." Right. And so, um, and then there's 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 a few that I refused uh, and I've been approached to do it. Like, hey, let's film it as a play and. And I'm like, nope, 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 nope. That one has to be a feature feature. Okay. And I've held on to it. Nice. Because not only will it give you more opportunities for people to see it around the world, I'm, I'm blessed that the four projects that I have have gone to Netflix and Hulu and and um, uh, give Amazon. Us give us the name. So people um, the Bachelor Party. Okay. 24-Hour uh, Love. Mm -hmm. The Divorce. And A Missing One. Um, sure. uh, I guess well, Soul Cafe, but that was on television. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. And so, and and and, and Fight Club, Booker, uh, My Brother's Keeper. Those were all stage plays. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. Bachelor Party. But they yeah. all could have been films. Lost Souls Cafe. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, you do great productions. There's no question. Thank you. And I'm sure everybody watching can you know vouch for that. And the very few of you who haven't better make sure they get because you have one coming up. October 27th, we're at the Wilshire E Bell with. Um, uh, Walking by Faith, mm -hmm. and it stars uh, Jack A. Harry, um, uh, Terrell Tilford from Single Ladies and um, Switched at Birth. So many. Mm -hmm. He has a long list of. Yeah, so many. And also um, Darius McCrary. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's funny. Star people, and other. Well, people. yeah, people always talk about <laughs> Darius from Family Matters right. and, and uh, the films Kingdom Come and all. But go to his IMDb. <laughs> The work, and he's a really uh, excellent dramatic actor, mm. and um, yeah, a nice guy. Yeah, a very nice guy. He get on my nerves at times. <laughs> he's funny though. He'll laugh it off, right? <laughs> <laughs> he gonna watch this and be like, uh, uh, and just fall out laughing. <laughs> But no, he's very talented and yes, very diverse is. in his Yes, his you saw him in Star, right? I, yes. Woo! I watched him in I, Star. I, thought, I was like, dude, was did you just do that? Yeah. That's yeah. what I was like. I was watching it like, ah! <laughs> but it's great that people like um, uh, Lee Daniels can see 
beyond right. family matters mm -hmm. and those type of things and think this guy can do this. Yes, they don't stereotype you just here. They no, can and what's interesting and is in a three or four block range mm -hmm. in Philadelphia, in Winfield, yeah. was Will Smith, Don B. Welch, and Lee Daniels. Oh, wow. Look at that. We didn't know Lee at that time, mm -hmm. but literally you can leave my mom's house and walk two blocks, well actually leave my mom's house and go around the corner and there's Will's house uh -huh. and go three blocks and that's where Lee was grew Lee up. Daniels. Yeah. Yeah. Have you guys had a discussion about that? No, I have either? never even really met Lee. Oh, I think I met oh. Lee one time. Yeah. He don't even know I'm living. Okay, Lee. Now his <laughs> sister. Yeah. I'm very friendly with Leah. Uh -huh, Leah, yeah. But Lee don't even know I'm breathing. <laughs> I know Cheryl is sister and Leah. And yeah, Leah. Wonderful. wonderful I've wonderful actually met ladies. Lee, but Leah uh, is a wonderful, wonderful casting person. Oh, yeah, and, and, and also, yeah, but yeah. That's so wild. Same Look at th that. Three or four blocks. A talented little small area. And we went, I don't know whether Lee went to our high school, but Will and I went to Overbrook High School, which is now Will's uh, name as company, is Overbrook Entertainment. Oh, but that was our high yeah, school. That was he named it after the yeah. high school. Didn't yep. know that. So we got a little tidbit there. Um, God, we're having such a great time. I don't even know how much we've been. We're just going to I don't even know. I don't know where we but are. But no, you've done so much. Uh -huh. um, and you've talked about the different productions. You've done film. You've yeah. done stage plays. You've talked about one coming up. Television. Have you tapped into TV? Um, yeah. Well, when I first moved here, I won't say the shows, but I was, I was because of Will, I was able to get into the rooms of uh, two network shows that were uh, had, hadn't been picked up yet. Mm -hmm. They ultimately were. Um, and I was in the writing room. Um, and I wasn't really happy. Mm. And I remember making a phone call, talking to him one day and saying, I'm, I'm just not really happy doing that. He said, what do you want to do? And I said, my own stuff. And he said, well, do it. And you know, you're thinking, well, I don't want to tell this person who's helping me okay. You know, uh, Thanks, but no say, say, well, that's not what I, what I want to do. But he understood that. Um, and um, the only thing I've ever sold of my own, the television, what we just talked about. Mm -hmm. uh, but I've been on television a lot. Uh, he know. likes to tell a story because <laughs> I was on The Fresh Prince of Bel Air yeah, as an actor. That, yes. And um, did you see it? I saw the, no, that I saw that you well, done that. Well, he I tells wouldn't. people whenever. If you say, hey, Will, you got down on the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. <laughs> and he says, yeah, it took like 25 takes to get his lines. <laughs> I don't know if it was that many. I think it was like four or five. <laughs> but I remember going on the set of Men in Black, and I didn't know Will did this. This was in New York a couple of years ago, and Men in Black 3 or something. And um, Michael Bay was sitting next to me, the director. And I'm sitting there like, I'm somebody, you know. <laughs> and Michael just looks at me and says, Oh yeah, you're done. You're you 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 will you're from back in Philly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You he told us how many times you messed oh up on the fresh goodness. Place. And he's over in the corner like this, is looking like Just, this. He said, "Yeah." And then next, then the, then there's a wardrobe person coming, they all and they're all saying, "Oh yeah, you're done. You're the one. You're the one." And, and I'm thinking, I said, "Well, Google me now." Yeah, right, right. Things have changed. <laughs> <laughs> so what? Just get past that. Get past like, it. <laughs> that's funny. I you, did you'll have never a rough time. Down. No, I, no, I, I, no. Yeah. It's the stuff about that in the, the book too. <laughs> the rough beginnings, but rough. you know. And that was just, you know, because I really wasn't acting. That was my first, because I had been doing the singing and the, and the writing. Mm -hmm. And then he just said, "Give that role to Don. Fly him out to L.A." And flew me out. I remember the day that I flew out to L.A. It was 30 inches of snow in Philadelphia. Oh. One runway was open, oh my and God. I'm thinking, I'm not going to be able to make it. And his dad and myself flew out to L.A., got off the plane. It was 83 degrees. Car <laughs> took me right over to NBC Studios. I walk in, and I said, can I tell me where Will Smith's uh, dressing room is? He said, oh, down the hall to the left. And as I'm walking, I hear somebody say, Donald Welch, please come to Studio 3. Yeah. I'm like, you know I'm in here? <laughs> You're being so announced. I'm like, okay, everybody ain't able. Mm -hmm. So then I walk into the where they're filming, and the whole cast is on stage and Will hands me a script and says, page 55, you're Detective oh. Sims. Oh and my I'm thinking, gosh. I'm thinking, okay, I think I, I'm thinking I have like maybe one word. Yeah. I have four or five lines. Oh and my gosh. And was, they were ready to shoot. And the cast is looking like, mm, well, we don't even know him. And I mean, they were nice. That's Everybody was funny. nice to me. Oh my yeah. goodness. Tatiana was like 
17 or yeah 18 and then I'm, and I look at her and she's been in a film of mine too uh, no. isn't that funny how all that turns around yeah. and watching her grow up watching her grow up but the fact you got thrust on the stage with a script and you had 22 I think that's pretty good well <laughs> now I didn't say we filmed that day <laughs> Because that was rehearsal. What I also learned about was by the time we filmed, every time I would go in the dressing room, mm -hmm. there was a different color piece of paper under the door, <laughs> which meant that a I, change. And I didn't know what that meant because I had learned all this shit. That I'm sorry. You learned everything the night before, and you're changing it on me. Yes, they're giving you sheets like. Psh. Oh goodness. Oh well. That's but I wouldn't have traded that experience for yeah. anything in the world. It that's was true. it was a great opportunity. That's <laughs> How are you bringing in so many great talents to your plays? They people just love you. Loretta Devine, Lynn Whitfield, Vanessa Bell Calloway, just Don Lewis, you know, Kenny Lattimore. I mean, I could just go on and on. The A-listers, basically, in the industry that come and they're like, what do you need, Don? I'll be there. How do you, how do you get that? Um, I think, well, first of all, the majority of them are friends. Mm -hmm. But your friends will do things for you maybe once or twice. <laughs> just because they're your friends. <laughs> but it had to be something to have them come back right. and say, I say, hey, I got a role for you. And they say, okay. Um, Loretta Devine, uh, Vanessa, Belle Calloway, Dawn Lewis, Jack A. Harry, the love they have for me, mm -hmm. you know, uh, Frida Payne, Mary Wilson, That's right. um, Judy Pace, Judy Pace and um, you got the older Marla ladies, Gibbs. the mature divas, and then you got the newer ones. And I mean, Essence Atkins, Marla Gibbs, mm -hmm. you know, uh, Kelly Price, Lettucey, mm -hmm. the love that you get, Ernest Thomas. You notice we're hearing more ladies, though. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> well you know, all this lady love, uh, Don. And over let me here tell you right now, <laughs> they, let me tell you, and my girls come out for me too. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that alone. <laughs> But they do the support, mm -hmm. and and yeah. and well, one thing we would we were on tour somewhere, and Vanessa Bell Cowley, we did a radio station or interview, and the and the guy said, "How do you manage to write some of these most powerful things involving women?" And Vanessa said, "Because Don gets us. Yeah. He's raised by a, 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 a mother and a grandmother. Mm -hmm. Women, he respects them, and what, and women of color." Mm -hmm. And writing stories and roles that they normally don't get. Right. It's very important to me mm -hmm. because my dad was around. My stepdad raised me. But I watched my mother and grandmother be these two powerful, mm -hmm. strong, independent women yeah. who had little schooling, who worked and, and were uh, God-fearing and and instilled those things in my brother and I. Mm. The respect, not just the black woman, but women mm -hmm. in general. Respect. Right. right. You and understand and get the role of a woman. Absolutely. And, and, and the meaning of a and, woman. And, and so I remember there was a couple of things. I wrote the show a couple of years ago. I, you and your mom came to see it. Three Sisters. Mm -hmm. And I wrote it for Vanessa, Loretta, and Dawn. And they played Sisters. And I remember saying, you're going to love the script, you're going to love the script. And I remember Vanessa calling me and saying, this is off the dime. This cannot just be a stage play. Mm -hmm. This has to be a film. With one, This has to be a movie. And right. that's the plan. But the, mm. when you get that kind of support, yeah. you know, if, if I ask one of them to do something, now I pay everybody. Mm -hmm. But if they can't do it, it's not they didn't like the material. Mm -hmm. It's because they're doing a film at that time. They're doing a tele like they're filming, like Loretta's in Atlanta filming. Vanessa's in Atlanta. Loretta'll be doing ten projects in one time. <laughs> and will say to me, "Don, <laughs> you gave me all this damn work," and I'm like, "But you can do it." <laughs> and, she, and she ends up doing and she'll it. She'll do it. Yeah. So I'm blessed. That, that's a King Lattimore and uh, uh, Ernest Thomas and. Mm -hmm. I Eric Benet. I just there's a lot of people, yeah. you know, um, the support, you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, Flex Alexander, Shanice, Shanice, yeah. Carl Payne. All right, yeah. you, know, all people you know, all these people that you see them. All of these have been in Don's place. Yeah, all and they'll come back if it's something that they mm -hmm. really, you know, they know I'm not gonna give them any mess. Right. 
You've got to have a reason. message. You already have a stamp. You hear it's Don Welch. If someone, what do you want people to remember or think of is the better word? What do you want them to think when someone says, hey, there's a Don Welch play coming? Right away, what should they feel and believe? That they're just going to have a good time, whether they're laughing, crying about certain things in, in the show, and that there's going to be a message. Every one of my plays, I end with one word, hope. No matter what yeah. is going on mm -hmm. in the production, because everything's not going to be a nice ending. Mm -hmm. right. You can't wrap everything. Life is not wrapped up in a bow. Mm -hmm. But there's got to be hope mm -hmm. for a better tomorrow, a better day, mm -hmm. no matter what topic I'm dealing with. Because I'm all over the place. I, yes. I, I don't like to yeah. stay in one area. You can't put me in something and say, that's where he stays. Right. That's why it angers me when I see some stuff that I don't understand why it's being fed mm -hmm. to our community and, yeah. to, and to the world. Exactly, yeah. I don't get it. Yeah. I don't get it. But my grandmother used to say, there's a tag for every rag. <laughs> Somebody's watching it. <laughs> That's right. Or it wouldn't Absolutely. be a hit. Absolutely. Absolutely. My goodness. Um, well, you're blessed. Over and over and over. And, and I, don't, I, and never I love showing that. up. I don't people forget that. Here, yeah. there's a play that you're right. Those are the things that come to mind. And I always think when I see uh, one of your Post come up about another play. <laughs> How are you doing I don't so even, many? I, Again, didn't I just go to one last month and now one just finished? I'm yeah, seeing another one. I mean, yeah. do, do you take vacation? Do you stop? Well, I haven't had a vacation in a while because my mom got sick in 2015 mm -hmm. and she died. She passed this year in 2018. So I flew home every month. That was the time you took Yeah, so I really, it was work and making sure that my mother was fine and she saw me and mm -hmm. we talked four times a day every day mm -hmm. um but i am so due for a vacation okay after this next one can you get it in <laughs> i'm actually you know what i am going away for a couple of days um i think Next month, not October. No, I think we're. I November. think everybody, all those names and all these great people. They all take you, trips. They all want you probably to take. Yeah, should yeah. Pull in and well, you know, on well, you know, trip, really. right. <laughs> let's get a GoFundMe. Let's get. Let's they go, get listen, let's people get, get a GoFundMe for everything else. That's it. Get a GoFundMe for Don to take a yeah, trip. Yeah, when's your birthday? May twenty fifth. But don't. May, it can be. <laughs> wait a minute. What's tomorrow? It can be October. <laughs> right, October. Don celebration. I mean, December twentieth. Right? We can do it. Yeah. Because they got people got GoFundMe for everything else. That's right. I, I want do. a new piano. I, I know. I want to go. So, <laughs> but they can be great when they're used correctly. Yes. Um, <laughs> when used correctly. But I am going to take a vacation. You got to take some time I, uh, because I literally constantly <laughs> see that you have another show coming up. And I'm like, is he how? sleeping? It, right. Don, how do you do this? But it's really great. But I, lo I love it, too. And, and, yeah. I love it. I love it. You have to, to do that many. I love you it. must. I love telling our stories because most of the, my I think the majority of my scripts, even though they primarily use an African American cast uh, most of the times, you can substitute that mm -hmm. for a Hispanic, yes, Caucasian. That's it, right. The only thing that would change maybe the the dialogue of of this the, the nuances, so that, right. but the story mm -hmm. right. is universal. Yeah, people's stories are very yeah. similar and connected. Yeah. They really are. Yeah, they really are. So, yeah, so I can't wait for this next one coming up. Yeah. And, and then after yeah. that, I expect to see at least a two-month There's a Christmas call. one. A Christmas, okay. That's a I'll be home time. for Christmas about a story, yeah. That's fine. And then we're working on uh, uh, January and February. <laughs> see, see? See what I said? And then I have to, finish, I have to do more in the book. <laughs> Who's starring in the one for Christmas? Do you already have a well, cast or you're I, about to cast? I do. We can't release it. I can't. Okay. Okay, I understand. I can't, but I but, know it's going to be powerful. But this is Christmas. And we were talking about business partner and I were talking, and they were like, yo, maybe we need to put, because I'm just getting finished with this one at the end of October. Yeah. And then Sherry's play, she wants to come back. A Sherry I said, Payne. Sherry Payne. She, <laughs> Excuse me. It so was a success. Why yeah. not? Well, I'm going to run through because we are now in overtime, but uh -oh. I know you're loving it. But you were judge the Miss America pageant in 2000 and 2004. I was the, with Judge Judy and, and yeah, Greta Van What Sussman. a great group. And I would wait a minute. I was living in LA, and I remember I had a little job here. I hated this job, <laughs> and I told everybody, "Oh, what are you going to do this weekend? I'm going to be on ABC." They said, "Doing what?" <laughs> I said, "This in your place." I said, "No, no, no. I am one of the celebrity judge for Miss America." They're, yeah, right. I'm like, "No, watch." <laughs> so I left. I flew back east. 
It was live, seen by millions of people. And when they said, next we're going to meet the judges, and they went down the list, and I had told everybody at work, mm -hmm. I'm going to do something really crazy. <laughs> so you know I'm talking oh, no. to you guys. Oh, no. And so they went down the list, mm -hmm. Greta, and, and they got to me, and I said, something really <laughs> corny. And, and they were like, when I, and I flew back and went to work. They were like, why you? <laughs> Well, they had never had a, Judy, yeah, they never had a, and then Don. They never had a playwright That's before. That's so cute. They said, and I think I was the only African-American judge. Yeah. At that time, probably. Yeah. yeah, and one year, an African-American girl won. She was from Florida. I think 2000, well, we filmed it, we did it in 2003, but she was for 2004. Okay, got and, it. And uh, she was out of Miami. And this is before there were all these judge shows, probably a lot of the reality now mm -hmm. that where people are doing American Idol and all was yeah, it, yeah. you know, so this is early. And they treated us like we were really like rock stars that week, mm -hmm. you know, just Good. the way we were treated. And I'm sure like three fourths of the world didn't know who I was. <laughs> They're like, who's this guy? As a matter of fact, I think the guy that was the host, one year it was Donnie and Marie. They did the okay. 1999, but the host for the 2004 was Ah, he does dancing. He used to do Dancing with the Stars, and he did Hollywood Squares. And now they have somebody else. Oh, oh, I can't I, think. I can't think of the name, but I see the face. Yeah, I know yeah, who you're talking you know, about. He and he's a, probably like, okay, John Welsh. He's <laughs> a, and next we have he's a writer, he's a playwright, has played the bachelor party is opening in Los Angeles. <laughs> Put your hands together and words. welcome Donald Welch because it was Donald Welch. <laughs> Donald Welch. <laughs> now you're Don. B. Don Welch. B. Welch. <laughs> Nobody. Don you know what? Nobody back home calls me Don. They're like, who is that? Yeah, and it's Don I said, well, it's because of the company, Don Lewis Productions. And, and really, in L.A., I think Don Lewis, Frida Payne, and Marla Gibbs, and our girlfriend, uh, actress Elisa Perry, are the only ones that calls me Donald. They never call me Don. Everybody else calls me Don. You have a preference? Just call me. Just call. Just call me. Just call. Just wake up and call. Me. And but if you wake up, you, <laughs> you may want to. You might not want to use one of those names. You might want to use another name. <laughs> <laughs> and okay. this is the Carla Dawn show. So my middle oh, name is Dawn. Dawn. D A W N. Oh, Carla and then Dawn. You're good friends with Dawn Lewis, my dear friend. Yes. Two yes. ends on hers, and yep. then you're D O N. So you know, I have a special thing about the Dawn. Yeah, and I'm gonna give you your exclusive. Okay. I will be in concert. Mm -mm. Full concert with an orchestra in March here in Los Angeles. And you're the first one to get that because guess what? When oh I put it on Facebook, gosh. I didn't tell anybody what was happening. But it's going to be a full show. And, we uh, can't release all the details yet. No. But you're going to full. And it's going to. Sounds exciting. It's going to be like. Because you're going to have these people like this. Okay, now he's now he can sing, which who didn't know didn't I did know that. know that you've yeah, been doing this at the beginning. I'm actually um, starting to, oh to do goodness. some vocalizing with uh, Wilkie Ferguson, who's an excellent um, uh, uh, just vocal he guy. He, he's, a, he's a Broadway actor, and he, you know, his, but no. he's pulling it out. I'm doing it. And you're going to do a full show? Full show. Did you hear this? Full Monday? show. Backup singer. I'm, ta I'm talking about release. conductor and everything. Oh. Oh, yeah. Get ready. I'll be ready. Get March. Ready. I can't take any vacation, March. I know. So. I, he won't give us the date yet. Oh, I can give you the date. Okay. Oh, it's already the theater's already booked, baby. All right. March the 9th. March 9th. Hold that date. Hold Ooh. that date. I'm going. You oh, gotta mom, be there, gotta, Carla. Mom, I know mom is one of those people. So look at the love. People are like, yes. Okay. Oh, yeah, you, I, I think people are going to be really, really shocked. I mean, I when I knew today I wanted to talk to you about singing, I had no, no idea. idea. Most people in L.A. don't. No But people idea. back home in Philly, oh, they know. They they know the singing Don. Oh, they know. Donald. Singing Donald is right. in Philly. As a matter course. of fact, it's not it, when we, it's an evening with Donald Welch. It's not Don B. Welch. Ah. And I think you're people You're taking are, it home. You're taking it back. I'm going to be, I'm doing what I, I think is, I think people are going to be, yeah. I let, let us see here, some of the CD. Uh -huh. She said, Don! <laughs> I and, then I, and then I let Darius and Kenny hear it. And Kenny's like, hmm, what? And, uh, and Darius is like, Don, what is wrong? And I said, I know. I'm yeah. going to get back to it. Yeah. I'm going to That's get what everybody's going to be thinking probably. When they see this, they're going to be like, <coughs> why have you not been doing well, this? Well, you know, and that? also I, I'm a firm believer that if you don't use what God has given to you, he'll just give it yes. to somebody else. So that is why I'm also going to be working with Wilkie. 
And when Wilkie's not available, I'm coming to Shoshana. All right. Get this Lavoie voice Studios. together. Yes, at Lavoie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. Thank you for I sharing. I gave you that. Nobody else knows that. Carla what? John Live Exclusive. I mean, they just knew. I told everybody on Facebook and social media, keep open March the 9th. Mm -hmm. There's something big coming. What? They didn't even know what was happening. That's ah. it. Ooh. Full band. Fantastic. See, um, I thought you were going to start singing on the show, but yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. They got it. Listen. We got to wait till the night. It's going to be built up. Right. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I am excited. And I, I don't know how you're going to get my mom to wait. Cyrus Gordy is going to be pulling this out of the I'll let you guys hear a little bit of the CD. Okay. Yeah. She's going to yeah, pull you aside. I'm <laughs> sure be like, Don. Yeah, I want to hear. Well, you know, like I told <laughs> you, Motown, the whole Motown. Like, yeah. like, like your your uncle and man, growing up, that's what, that's what meant so much to me. When I first I was able to sign Mary Wilson to do a couple of my productions because I re I grew up on the Jackson Five and the mm -hmm. Supremes and all those moments, yeah. you know, and that name Gordy, yeah. you know, just the family. It's like yeah. when I see, listen, Barry Gordy probably has to um, be careful if I'm around because I become <laughs> more than a fan. I become a nuisance. I'm like <laughs> sitting there. It's like when you are in front of Barry Gordy, there's not too many people to do this to me. I can tell you right now, Cicely Tyson, mm. Aretha Franklin was, mm. Barry Gordy. Mm. I become almost speechless because of the history and and I, I'm, I'm and you're you're looking at, you're talking to someone, and I haven't had an opportunity to talk to Barry Gordy, but you'll hook that up. Yeah, um, um, when you are in front of these people, and you're looking and you're thinking, you're, you are such a part of my childhood, my life. Right. You know, when I, I met Cicely Tyson the first time, and I just welled up, and she was like, well, what? <laughs> because I wanted to say to her, mm. I watched you in Sounder. Yes. And I cried when you ran through that field to Paul Winfield. Mm -hmm. I watched you in uh, uh, Jane Pittman mm -hmm. when you went to the water fountain. Mm -hmm. and, 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 yeah. you, and you look at Barry Gordy, you're thinking, wait a minute. This dude started a company that signed all of this talent that are still working today. You know, and all the songs that, you know. Um, <laughs> when you were talking about you oof. performing at home as a child, I thought about you doing the Jacksons. Oh, <laughs> I had this no way. Marvin so, Gaye. Oh, yeah. Are you I used to introduce the Supremes. <laughs> I was Ed Sullivan. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> My cousins, uh, uh, Mary so and they, they were the Supremes. And that I, one is so funny. Listen, I want to see a one man show. You've done one in your life, haven't you? I did. I, I, I can imagine that was the best. Well, when you come to my show, I, I include the audience because see, when I used to do like the yeah. the, the the club scene, I would always, you know, yeah. have the audience and I say Bring crazy them. things and yeah. stuff like no, that. You, this is this is the best one man show right here, <laughs> <laughs> ever. We're gonna have a good time. <laughs> yeah, I can't I can't wait for that. So. Now I done put it out there. You put it out there. So, now, so. I can't even. Ex I, I can't even take much that date back. Mm -mm. I can't say it's my there. voice is working. No, no, I can't do no, any take of that. It back. It's done, exclusive. I thank you for uh, popping it out on my show. You got it. And everybody watching, make sure you get to LA in March or you, or ninth. Or if you're in LA, you're gonna get your tickets. But well, right first, after I October twenty seventh, you know where to be. Will she bell October twenty seventh? October twenty seventh for walking by faith. Mm mm mm. That's it. <laughs> All right. Well, I, I love long shows because it means that there was some wonderful dialogue. Yes. It yeah. means that there were, you've shared thank you for some fantastic you things with us. And people, go on Facebook, follow Don B. Welch. Well, they can't. I'm at the, uh, the limit. You did, oh, you're at the limit. Well, he needs a page, too. <laughs> I do have a second page. Which well, he has which, a website. Yeah, so for I, now, you can go to the website. Or they can go to Instagram. And Instagram and is Twitter. always good. There's no limit on Instagram. Right. <laughs> I have people call me and say, I can't get you on Facebook. Get rid of somebody for me. <laughs> oh, my God. And I know you're definitely a man of God. and You give him the glory all the time. Every, all the time. And as you said, hope at the end of the play I and will. all these things. So I'll cut you I out, too, though, still. 
God still loves you. Yeah, God still loves you. I'll cuss you out if I need to be cussed out, and then I'll still pray. <laughs> it's important to do both. <laughs> Good balance. All in balance, as we were saying. <laughs> I won't th- cuss you out. Th- I mean, I, no, no, I wouldn't cuss Carl out. Oh, so but I'll cuss some folks out. <laughs> You know, you have to check people, too, though, I don't Carl. know, though, but if I come late to a play and go disturb oh, you, the aisles, I might get cussed you're out. You're going to get checked. <laughs> I'm going to love you. We can go, listen, we can go have dinner after, but you're going to get checked at that moment. Disturbing everybody. <laughs> wait a minute. We were at Sherry's play, and I said, and, and Carla Gordy and, and um, Iris Gordy, and I said to Iris, and I said, where were you? She said, I went in the back, but I heard I was coming back to my the bathroom. Or something. I'm like, did you hear me call your name? <laughs> And she asked me, I said, Don's going to get you. <laughs> I said, we have Iris Gordy and Carla Gordy and you. Were, and, and I said, and I saw her later on. I said, where were you? She said, I went. I said, I, she said, I know I was on my way back to my seat. She was walking down the aisle, <laughs> coming back from dipping out. I tell you, I said, why you dipped out right at that moment. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. All right. Well, Don, this has been fun. Yeah. We had some good times. So many wonderful things. You've yes. shared things I'm sure a lot of people didn't know, which is always fun. And we Get that book. We Get get the book. You've written two. Correct? No. Well, no. Well, not, no oh, I'm talking no, about the, the memoir. Well, the memoir. The novels, the novels, the memoir, novels are called the novels. In My Sister's House and uh, The Bachelorette Party. You can still get those. Still get those. You can go to Random House. Um, dot com or you can go to Amazon. Amazon. Yeah, always good. Yeah, yeah. You know, I saw them on selling on Amazon. You almost kind of get mad when they say they got a couple copies for like seven dollars. You're like, know. what are you doing? Yeah, so, I don't but get the, it. Uh, dude, come <laughs> on. <laughs> Amazon giving the them away. Just, seems like. Yeah, like you just give this book away. <laughs> Yeah, I remember, you know, that's to make you laugh. When the first book came out, I was getting all these people saying all these wonderful things. And I won't name this celebrity, but she said to me, listen, I wouldn't read all those good reviews. I said, why? She said, what you going to do when you get some of the bad ones? I was like, Phew. And I remember re- <laughs> reading one this lady said, huh, I only bought this book because Essence Magazine said it was um, a, a top 10 summer hit. She said, I could have kept my money. Y'all wait for this to go to the library. <laughs> And I wanted to call her up <laughs> and say, bitch, what are, you like, oh. <laughs> what do you mean? And I'm like, you can't do that. Uh, she spent her money. Yes. She didn't like it. It's cool. It's but I remembered what somebody told me. You read 3,500 said that it was great. And that one person, because she was just like, this is horrible. One star. <laughs> and I'm thinking, are you, did you read the same book I wrote? And then I remembered, oh and, what, and I'll end with this. I go back to my mother. I remember telling my mom that, and she said, well, let me ask you something. Who's the number one, and she just was asking a question, who's the number one recording artist of all time that sold the most records? And I said, Michael Jackson. I said, he sold 45 million or whatever of Thriller. And she said, okay. And I bet we could still walk down the street and run into one person, and they say, oh, I don't like Michael Jackson's Give music. Give one star. And I said, that's true. That's Thank you, it. mom. You were fixed. Your mom, Thank you, mom. was. Amazing. So that lady who gave me that one star <laughs> that didn't like my book, don't come to my, no, come to my concert. I don't even know where she's He'll at. He'll forgive I don't even know you. What kind of, He's a man of God and will forgive you. Yeah, you know, God, we trust all of us <laughs> cash. But I remember thinking that was a, that was a turning point for yes. me. Yes. Your mom had the right answers for yeah. everything. My goodness. Yeah. Do you have all those kind of written down, those sayings, she, right? I do. And I put them in my plays a lot. Ah. The things that her and my grandmother would say, that. and my and, and my stepdad yeah, would say, I, I have a little thing. That. Well, she also wrote a book of things, and I have it, and of her own. What's she's the right name? poetry. There's, no, she was writing in oh, a book. Oh, she wrote her own. Oh, yeah, you got to release and that. And she would we say, have that and I, I thought, wow. Your mom was a very, yeah. very talented writer. All right, I don't want to. Look, I'm where gonna he get, got I'm, it from. I'm going to start okay. getting crazy. You know where he got his writing from. That's right. Creativity. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Okay, well, I love it that you've been here. Thank you all for watching Carla Don Thanks. Live. Thank you all Thank for watching. Thank you, Don, for coming. It's I don't know what the, Are we going to get comments of crazy people saying crazy We're things? We're going to get all kinds I of I love things, it. So. Say whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> they have been making comments. We can, we'll, we'll look back later. So Woo! put the comments, share the show, click the little Happy arrow. birthday to Frida Payne. Oh, yes. Today's today. her birthday. And also, also, her son, Gregory Abbott Jr., his birthday is today. Happy and yesterday was Jada Pinkett Smith. Happy birthday to all. It's very much a blessing every year that you have another year to celebrate. So we have, in fact, we need to let Shoshana go celebrate with Frida. Oh, yes. We're here holding, holding up. Hi, Shoshana. Thank you again for (laughs) letting us come and shoot Carla Dawn Live from Lavoie Studios. If you're looking for vocal lessons, um, any kind of skills for adults and children, highly recommend it. My daughter comes here for her vocal 
lessons as well, and Don's going to I need to come like up. Yeah, I might have to. Got this big show coming. Yeah. He's reaching out for the big ones. So. <laughs> All right. I want that family discount, Shoshana. <laughs> <laughs> Don't try to pull no stunt. All right. <laughs> and now we have to end it on hope. Yes. What, what, um, share with us something about hope. Well, for the world or myself. What, you say you end shows on hope. I, should, I almost did. I just, just want. The I, well, the, the the thing is to just always continue to believe in God. Put God first. Hope for a better tomorrow. I always say this: God doesn't really care about what you did yesterday because it's already gone, and He doesn't care about what you're going to do tomorrow because He already knows. What He cares about is what you're doing today. So let's just try to do that and, and give up today, the present, living in the present. And I wish hope for all. Yes, definitely that. Thanks, all right. Carla. All right. Thank you. This is fabulous. <clears throat> You've been amazing. I'm going to laugh some more after the show. And I'm going to eat. I don't know what you're going to go eat. Time yeah. to eat. I'm with you on that. I need some food. <laughs> all right. Okay. Let's, let's go see. Maybe Shoshana has a spread for us. <laughs> <laughs>